Hello everybody, welcome back to Perfect English with me, Alex. In this week's video, I'm going to teach you how to describe things correctly and how to use the correct order of adjectives in English. Let's go! So English has a specific order of adjectives. And adjectives are describing words, things that tell us about something. And you need to know the correct order to use them if you want to sound like a native. So, the order of adjectives. Quantity or number comes first. How many are there? Then we have quality or opinion. What do we think about it? And size, is it big, small? Age, how old is it? Shape, what shape is it? Colour, what colour is it? Then we have proper adjectives. Where is it from? What is it made of? And finally, the purpose. What do we use it for? What is its purpose? So we have eight kinds of adjectives eight kinds of descriptive words in English, but it would be very, very unlikely to use all of these words with one noun. So don't start using eight adjectives with one noun. Normally I would say three or four is okay, anything more than that and it just doesn't sound right. So you can use three or four, but make sure you use them in this order. Don't put the colour before how many. That's the purpose of this video. So take a look at this sentence here. Five blue, small, amazing birds. This is not right. It doesn't look right. It doesn't sound right. Because the adjectives are in the wrong order. You have colour before size and size before opinion. So these adjectives are not in the right order, so this is not good English. We can change the order of these adjectives and make the sentence five amazing small blue birds. This is great English. The adjectives are in the correct order. So let's take a look at making some more sentences. So the first thing we need, the first thing in the adjective order is the quantity, the number. How many of something are there? The quantity can be an article, a, an, some, or it can be a number, four, seven, thirty-three. The purpose of this adjective is to tell us how many of something there are. I'm going to order two pizzas. This sentence is describing the number of pizzas I'm going to order. Two pizzas. So, how many of something always comes first when describing something. So, don't say, I'm going to order large two pizzas. Do say, I'm going to order two large pizzas. The number, the quantity comes first when describing things. Two large pizzas, five bottles of water. And after the quantity, we have the quality or opinion. What do we think? about the thing we are describing, about the noun. What do we think about the noun? So some examples of opinion adjectives could be ugly, beautiful, delicious, disgusting, tasty. All of these words are saying what we think about something. It's not a fact, it's an opinion. And these opinion adjectives come second in the description, after how many. Two beautiful cars. My opinion is the cars are beautiful. Two beautiful cars. Five disgusting pizzas. Again, my opinion, they are disgusting. And it comes after five. Some dangerous people live in this world. So the first two adjectives in order, quantity and quality. How many and our opinion. And then we have the size. Size tells you how big or small something is and comes third in the list after the first two. So some examples of size adjectives. Large, small, tall, fat, thin. Anything that's describing the size of something. Wow, they are some tiny apples. Tiny apples I'm describing the size. Look at that disgusting huge building. It's a huge building. 
you describing the size. And it comes after my opinion. And then we have age, how old something is or how new something is. So some age adjectives could be old, new, modern, ancient, historic, anything that describes the age of something. And a lot of people put age before size. This is a common mistake that people make. So don't say old, tall buildings. Do say tall, old buildings. So size comes first, then age, and then your noun. Tall, old buildings. Some more sentences with age adjectives. Those beautiful old dolls. These apples are disgusting and old. What a beautiful new car. And after age, next in the list is shape. Shape tells you the shape of something. What does it look like? These shape adjectives can be long, round, short, circular. Telling me how something looks. These are delicious round apples. The shape is round. I want to buy some heart-shaped chocolates. The chocolates are heart-shaped. So after all of those previous adjectives, next we have colour. What colour is it? So the colour comes quite near the end in the list of adjectives. It comes after size, it comes after shape, it comes after age. Colour is quite near the end. Three beautiful old blue cars. You can see it's very close to the, the noun. Three beautiful old blue cars. An ugly red lorry. Some tasty golden fries. Mm. So after colour, we have the proper adjective. This can be broken into two parts. The origin, where is it from, and the material. So first up, the origin. Where is this item from? Where is this noun from? A mesmerising Persian rug. This rug comes from Persia. So we say it's a Persian rug, and that is very close to the noun. A delightful Indian curry. So the order of the adjectives starting to piece together now. So the origin is a city or a country or a place that something comes from. And then we have material. What is this noun made of? Materials could be metal, silk, paper, oak, anything like that. Anything that we use to make something. A mesmerizing Persian silk rug. So we have opinion, mesmerizing, origin, Persian, material, silk. And what is it? It's a rug. And a tall, hard metal gate. The material here is metal. And the last adjective in this order, the last word we need to use before the noun is its purpose. What does the item do? What is its purpose? What function does it have? A good example here might be a folding bike. The bike's purpose is folding. It can fold. It can be made smaller. And the purpose is usually an ing, an ing word. Fold, ing, bike. I have such a great folding bike. Look at that big revolving door. Three sleek blue racing cars. So all of these ing words are talking about the purpose. Folding, revolving, racing. It's what these nouns are for. So there you have the order in which we use adjectives in English. You can now describe things correctly and in the right order. Hopefully you learned a few new adjectives in this video too. If you enjoyed it, leave a like please and share this video with your friends. So a reminder of the order, the eight adjectives and the order to use them. First, the quantity. How many are there? Then an opinion. What do we think about the noun? What do we think about the thing we're describing? And the size, is it big or small? The age, how old is it? The shape, what shape is it? The colour, what colour is it? And the proper adjective, the origin, where is it from? The material, what is it made of? And last, the purpose, 
What can we use it for? What is the purpose of this thing we are describing? So now you know the order, guys, your homework for this week. I want you to describe something in your house and use three adjectives. So any adjectives from the eight that we have been through in this video, take three adjectives and describe something that's in your house. Make sure they are in the right order and leave your sentences as a comment on this video. Leave a comment with you describing something from your house with three adjectives in the right order. My example, I have two beautiful, soft, fluffy cats. Let me know your sentences in the comments, guys, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. See you next time.